Hi everybody, Sassy Celiac here for the final day of the 21 Day Sugar Detox. Can you believe it's over? I can barely believe it. Sorry, my dog. <laughs> um, she's being silly. Um, yeah, so I know I skipped a few days with my trip, but I still got to enjoy the benefits and I still really enjoy the book and I'm going to be making more and more recipes, um, even though it's technically over tomorrow or at the end of today. Day, today is day 21. So, <laughs> they're so cute playing in the background there. Um, anyways, <laughs> I'm a little distracted. Okay, so I didn't want to talk about weight really because it's not a diet. It's not meant to help you lose weight, but I know that some of you are curious. Um, I am five foot ten, um, and I, when I took, when I weighed myself on the first day of the program, I was one forty six point five pounds, and then on the Saturday before, or the Saturday like on my trip to Tofino before I had had. Any sugar? Well, actually, I had had some sugar that day. But anyways, when I when I weighed myself there, I was 141 pounds. So that was, I think, almost two weeks or something, or a week and a half. And uh, was that five and a half pounds? Yeah. So that's pretty substantial, um, especially if it was inflammation or something like that. That's not good for me. Um, otherwise, it's probably just water. Like, I think weight can fluctuate. Be plus or minus five pounds and still be, you know, it's, I wouldn't have lost, like, I don't know. It's complicated. But anyways, um, I weighed myself today and I was 143, so three and a half pounds. So that's still nothing to sneeze at. I took a picture of my tummy at the beginning and the end, and I'll post that. Um, it's just um, flatter, I guess. It's more leaned out. Um, no bloat, no less water retention, that sort of thing. And that's always nice. It's a good feeling. You feel better in your clothes and stuff like that. And naked. <laughs> um, yeah, so what else? I think my uh, most liked dish, the picture that I posted of my most enjoy, or the, that got the most likes. Sorry, I'm having trouble speaking today, apparently. I'm still tired. Um was that I made short ribs, balsamic braised short ribs from the book, also by Diane, which is called Practical Paleo. And it's one of my favorite recipes. Um, the short ribs I mentioned were on sale, so I was able to buy them. They're usually pretty pricey, um, but delicious. And I made it with carrots instead of sweet potatoes. Um, Actually, it might be made with carrots. I'm not, I can't remember now. But anyways, I put carrots in while it was cooking. And then, so they were nice and soft. And then I added peas at the end. And it was delicious. And I still have one left over, which I'm going to have for dinner tonight. <laughs> they're cracking me up back there. Oh, they're cracking you up too. Because uh, I don't have much more to say. Uh, what I do want to say is thank you to everyone who bought the book <laughs> because of my posts. That's awesome. That makes me feel really good. And I hope that you do consider going to buy it because it is a really good book. However, there is a caveat. Um, in, uh, I guess it's this month, in December, or not this month, next month. Is it December yet? I don't even know. It's so bad. No, it's not. It's not December yet. Jeez, Louise. Okay. <laughs> in December, Diane is releasing a 21 day sugar detox cookbook. So, and that has like over, I think she said over 200 uh, detox friendly recipes. So I really want that one too. Um, Christmas wish list, hint, hint. Um, so yeah, definitely if you're looking into the detox, um, take a look at both. Um, there's, she said it's different recipes in the detox book than in the cookbook. So that's awesome that it's not repeating recipes, right? So you get brand new recipes. Um, and it just doesn't have in the cookbook, it doesn't have all the, the literature at the front, but it still has meal plans, which is important and the different levels, I think, but, uh, it doesn't, uh, tell you about why and different things that about your health and your body and stuff like that. So yeah, um, I'll be looking into that one for sure. That's exciting. I can't remember the exact date. I have like, I feel like it's December 9th, but it might be later than that. 
I'll have to double check and I'll write it on the post. And what else? I thought there was more. Um, I guess just for more, go to www.balancedbites.com for more information on um, the 21 Day Sugar Detox. Plus there's tons of recipes there that are all paleo. Not all of them are detox friendly, but um, a lot of them are. And they're free. And there's also some PDF files there that you can read that are free or for restaurants like doing the detox while going to restaurants. It gives you tips and stuff like that. Oh boy. And then follow me at uh, sassyceliac.com for my blog and also on Facebook at facebook.com slash sassyceliac. Um, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at that was wrong. There we go. <laughs> At yummy GF Pam Cakes. And that's about it. So I probably won't be doing... Well, actually, I might do a video about um, the food and stuff from Tofino and Nanaimo. But I would like to also do some videos of me singing and playing ukulele, which I know isn't very... Uh, isn't really at all celiac related, but um, I think it'd be fun. So I hope you guys enjoyed this journey and I have almost overcome my nervousness on camera. Sometimes better than others, worse when my brain isn't working, but thanks for coming along with me. Bye.